Given by the gods for their arrogance and failure to recognize him, the Lockmore people are given over to their enemy, the Isola. Slaughtering most but preserving the best and brightest as slaves, the Isola horde decimate the Lockmore. For the Lockmore captives, nothing in their future is certain, except loneliness, oppression, and alienation. Torn from family, country, and all comfort, these young men will face the greatest test of their lives. Not simply whether or not they will live, but whether or not they will live right in the Isola. Captive and alone at the end of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hume Lake Summer 2007. <laughs> I was sleeping and you were and sleeping. How you could doing? you sleep? Well, I was Vikings tired. like came through and they were like kicking doors down. And now, where were you? Well, I, I was sleeping until one grabbed me out of bed and held a knife to my throat and oh. said, "Come on!" And I went, "Mom, are you mad?" <laughs> but turns out it was a Viking and, and our, our village got ransacked and, and everyone was slaughtered except for a few of us. So. Anyway, allow me to introduce us. Uh, this right here, this is my best friend, oh Cadillac. Hey guys, how's it going? Behind him is Mac Attack. Hi there. And behind her is Abalone Joseph, but we like to call him Abalone Joe. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> That's right. We're all from a town called Ubla D Ubla Da. Ubla D Ubla Da. I just said that. I know. I, I just right. like it's it. our hometown. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, We're proud yeah. of it. It's like an endearing thing. You know? yeah. Right. right. Uh, Anyway, they're part of a club I like to call uh -huh, the really, really good-looking, smart, intelligent people club. You guys are. You guys are hey, don't count club. yourself out, Daniel. You're the cat's meow. Oh, uh, Joe, you're like the best. Why you the... Move along. What? I can't hear. Is that a dog? Is that a baby mouse? Look upon your future home in despair, muddy-faced, wimpy people. We're rich. We're rich. Bow before his majestic presence. Ooh. Yes! Welcome to the Viking King realm of our Viking King, Nabicardo Nezodudo, the Thord. Yes. <laughs> well, here he comes. Well, here he comes. Hello. Hello. Here he is. Here he goes. Yeah, come inside, boys. Right. Right. Come inside, boys. There we go. All right. Okay, good. Hello. Hey, hello. Okay, great, great, great. Well, hello, my wellness subjects. Welcome home. Thank you, King. Congratulations on your beautiful harvest mm -hmm. of good looking, smarty pebbles. That's great, Joe. Good job, Elgin. Thank you, King. Thank yeah. you very much. Well, look, look at you. Look at you, beautiful people. Welcome to my kingdom, noble savages. Ah, I'm king of all you see here. King of that little house and this little place uh -huh. and that little thing that's mm -hmm. called I am known as King Nebuchadnezzar Doodle. Oh, hail King Nebuchadnezzar Doodle. May his towels stay bounty fresh and his tunics and armor not shrink whilst in the washing machine. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you the third five thousand times. Oh, okay. Why don't y'all go jump up and down on some thin ice, all right? Okay. Take the prisoners around. Yeah, no, not you, Hergen. Okay. Ah, I've got a special cool guy job for you to do. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Easy, okay. control, control. Okay. All right. Now, greetings. Greetings, my loyalist of kings. Yeah, greetings I is at your service. Ah. What kind of cool guy job might a royal guy like you have for a really smart, intelligent, good-looking man like this man right here? How about you don't break the house down, you big-brained, muscular man? Look at the size of these arms. Can't okay, look. My Vikings are often big of arm, yet tiny of intellect, moron. Look at this yep. place. Yep. You want to bring down the house? Yep. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yep. Hey, nope. You'll that. notice that they're often, you know, broad like the horns of a yak, yeah. you know? Their shoulders are huge, man. Yeah. And then you'll notice yeah. also that their brains are tiny. Yep. Like the brains of a tiny, well, small little uh, animal with a small, you know, little brain that is from a small animal, a tiny brain. Yep. Yeah, he's got a small one. Yep. 
Yeah. Well, now take a look at his prisoners. I've seen it. Oh, look at this guy. He is all fuzzy haired and used, you know, herbal essences and oh, all. Man, he smells great. But look at the face on this guy. I mean, look at his, you know, he's got a noggin like no other. I mean, he's mm -hmm. smart, you can tell, huh? Well, look oh, at his yep, face. Yep, he's not too shabby on the eye, neither. Yep, yep, definitely. Yeah, definitely. not like my people. They're uh -huh. ugly. They're dumb. Yep. They can't even use an ATM. What's that? Well, don't worry, you'll find out in 10 million years. Okay. All right, oh, that's a long time, maybe 10,000, no, maybe a thousand years. Okay. All right, now, what if, what if my fucking peoples were to do my tax returns? They mess it all up. How am I supposed to look good with the IRS? It's on my back all the time. And what happens if I'm supposed to look good when, when other people from other places, like uh -huh. ambassadors from, oh. you know, those cool guy places like Mesopotamia, oh, yeah, Egypt, Japan, uh -huh, Germany, yep. all yep. those places. Gotcha. How am I supposed to look good? If my Vikings aren't the brightest in the world and they're fat like elven seals and my ladies and waiting have mustaches, tell uh, me that! I will not be the loyal guy, your royalness. It is not good. No, it's not good to eat hair either. Nope. Yeah. Hair so what's we gonna do? I mean, look at them! But if we look at this, look at this, look at these beautiful people. Yep. What if we just stole good looking, smarty punks peoples from other places? Then, Hergen. Then I look good, and I don't get in trouble from the Internal Revenue Service, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're very correct, Keith. No! What? No! no! Okay. Look at these guys, they don't even know our language, you're a cute one. They don't even understand what I'm saying, no. They don't even know our Sorry, traditions, don't they don't even know what our past is like. No. Nope. How are they supposed to be in these cool guy positions nope. Nope. if they don't even know any of that stuff? Um, maybe... What are we gonna do? Um, I brainstorming right now and um the first thing that is coming to my head is that someone should be teaching them how to run our country oh well thank you for volunteering there again well uh, i was just yeah, brainstorming good guy. Was all right now, if we're really gonna give these people the best cool guy okay, jobs and most important positions okay. we must give them the best cool guy clothing i mean oh, yep. they can't walk around in these things i mean jeez no they gotta put some furs on, you know, some good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, they gotta have the best season. cool guy clothes, the best cool guy hotel rooms. Uh -huh. They gotta have the best food, and I'm talking the best. Okay. You know, the milkshakes, oh, yeah, the pork good. chops, yep, the, the steak, uh -huh. the veal, yep. the okay. lamb. Got you know, that, that entire dessert where you roast an entire little piggy, oh. and then you douse it with ice cream it's and cherry okay, meringue. Man. Do you remember oh, that yeah, one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Baked hog glass cup. Oh, yeah. that's the one, baby. All yeah, right. Yeah, well, you get it. Okay. You understand, Helgen. Okay. Remember, all the way the best. Oh, Give them the best. Wait, wait, oh, I'm talking like okay. brownies, uh, chocolate okay. chips. Bye bye, you noble king. Oatmeal cookies. You bye bye, noble king. Stuff. All right. Okay, you guys. Everyone, rise to your feet. You guys, rise to your feet. Come here. I got something very special to tell you. Come here, right here. Glad to close, because I know you guys can't really understand me. My in superior intellect and speech intellect. Are you listening? Are you ready? Okay. The king has put me on special orders to put you guys on a special food dietings. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for the special special food dietings? Okay. All right. The first part is a little exercise. We're gonna work up our appetite. So we're gonna frolic to the ice cream trough. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Frolicking to the ice cream trough. Frolicking to the ice cream trough. Back, back, no, no. Okay. What? Okay. We're gonna have to gracefully decline. But. What? I, what? I have an understanding. You'll be treated to the bestest food delicacies in all the icy north. Pretty much everything is dipped in chocolate because we have a big basin where we dip it in chocolate and then we dip it in another basin where we deep fry it. And it's so yummy. You want to tell me? That's kind of the problem. Oh. Well stated, Mac Attack. <laughs> Thanks, I will let you know. No problem. This doesn't make any sense. I said, listen to me very carefully. I know you guys are a little slow in the head, but you are going to be treated to the bestest of food in all the kingdom playing. But you don't understand, we, we can't. Yeah. Why not? Uh, uh, do you want the obvious reasons? Uh -huh. Like uh, maybe how your Vikings, oh, go who, are off on your, uh, who are on your diet, tend to have uh, just like terrible skin and even worse circulation? That's because not of the altitude. To not to mention they're too dull of mine and bug face to qualify for the jobs that we're grooming us for. Um. But really it only comes down to one thing. We trust the advice of someone greater than ourselves. Yeah, well, like buddy. Who? Like <laughs> who? Someone who's given us guidelines of how to eat, how to drink, and how to live. That's 
right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Dr. Atkins. <laughs>